it takes 15 minutes to get from 0 to 80% and then another one hour and a half to go from dead to fully charged. This is the 14 inch M3 Max 14 core, 30 GPU core. Let's run the 3D Mark test. Okay, test results are 144 frames per second, which is pretty much identical to the 16 inch version of the same Mac. Okay, I'll run a Cinebench 2024 test. We'll monitor the CPU frequency. We'll do CPU multi-core first, and we'll time it to see how long it takes before it starts throttling. Okay, the fans are starting to go on after 30 seconds, slightly, 3000 RPM. Okay, so we're dropping a little bit of frequency right around 3.45 after a minute. Okay, 3.35 after a minute and a half. Temperatures, so the fans are not even blowing full speed. Temperatures are 92 Celsius overall, 100 at the highest score. So as this is finishing up, oh, it's done. So the score on this one, the 14 inch is 1,275. The 16 inch is uh, what I saw in another video was 1,371 for CPU multi-core. Um, the, the clock speed and frequency, it drops between 0.2 to 0.3 of a gigahertz. So there is some thermal throttling that starts happening one to one and a half minutes in into the process the as far as temperature the fans stick around 5000 rpm 7000 rpm is around the max seven and a half so the fans are not spinning all the way uh, you probably heard i'm wearing a lav mic i'm close to the laptop so you probably heard something now they're winding down and the temperature is around 100 celsius for the hottest chip and 90 to 93 Celsius overall for this test. So there we go, it's done. The GPU is coming out at 7,994 points. So now we're on Final Cut Pro. This is H.265 footage, it's 5.7K, 24 frames per second. Obviously there's no optimizing or proxies. This is original footage. Let's even delete generated clip files just to make sure and it is set at better quality let's see if there's any change in any frequency as we do playbacks or oh, before i say anything else this has been heavily graded using uh, motion vr effects with the film looks there's a lot, multiple LUTs and then M film looks from Motion VR VFX. Then there's also M flares in each one of these clips. Each clip is uh, cropped because the original ones were shot in the uh, open gate. So let's see how the performance is. Here the GPU is running at 91%, CPU 22%. So there is no throttling, any thermal throttling happening during this process. The temperature, the fans are off, temperature is running at 92 Celsius. Okay, we have a little bit of a uh, a little bit jerky footage here but this is set as at best quality and it has uh, some heavy plugins the fans are turning on just a little bit okay so now we'll try to export this for YouTube best settings for YouTube again this is 5.7k footage at H.265 
uh, nothing has been optimized we will again delete any gener generated files if there are any there aren't any and then the, there are lots applied the the footage has been cropped in different ways there's all kinds of movements here and the plugins that were used were M film looks and also M flare too these are from motion VFX these are very difficult to process uh, they're heavy on the system it seems and um, we'll see what this goes like so we will turn this 6k footage into 4k footage uh, from H.265 to H.264 okay since this is finishing up we're ab we about at 80% uh, done here um, 17 minutes 45 seconds in this was a 8 minute project I didn't mention it before uh, the average core temperature is around 85 Celsius. I didn't. S I'm not seeing any throttling during the editing process or the encoding process. So that's a good thing for Final Cut users, video editors. As you can see, the temperatures are staying in green for GPU, CPU. Uh, the fans are at around 5,000 RPM. You can hear them. I am kind of uh, the distance I would be from the MacBook if I was typing on it that's the fan noise so it's not too bad I mean it's only doing this process it doesn't happen during the editing process during the video editing process it's it's um, it's silent the fans are off pretty much or they're so quiet that you can't hear them and just so you know this timeline that I'm encoding this is uh, I'm converting things from H.265 to H.264 the original footage is 6k and converting it to 4k and there's a lot of heavy grading um, there are plugins from motion VFX which are they seem to be rough on the system uh, there were both grading for motion VFX and uh, another plugin for flares each clip has these placed on them each clip has been reframed there's some motion uh, again other color grading on top of all that so I was trying to make a realistic color grading uh, around 6k of H.265 footage and what happens if you what happens to the timeline what happens when you try to output it into a YouTube file the settings that I chose were the optimal settings for YouTube and as you can see we are 20 minutes in 83 percent done so there's a lot of uh, effort going into this with the GPU the GPU is running at 86 percent is jumping between this and 90 we're done so it took 21 minutes to output this eight minute project motion VFX color grading and also motion VFX flares these are tough on the system you can uh, get pretty smooth playback especially when you set the set the Final Cut Pro at for best performance so for Final Cut Pro I'm not seeing any thermal throttling I'll go in more depth with Final Cut in my next video uh, just to kind of show you how the timeline responds to uh, plugins especially motion VFX this is the MacBook Pro 14 inch 14 CPU core 30 GPU cores and 36 gigabytes of RAM